know, this your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and welcome to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pot. Now, today we're going to have a whole show full of unpopular opinions. That means if I say something that you don't like, you shut the fuck up. Because I'm speaking my mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I am going to talk about a lot of shit that y'all are scared to talk about. Like, for instance, these new kids. Y'all don't think these motherfuckers been here before? Like, I remember, when, I remember when babies were born. My mama got 11 children, so I'm familiar with kids, right? I remember when baby was born, you have to wait two, three days for the baby eyes open. And if the baby hold their head up, that was considered as a bright or a strong baby. These motherfuckers coming out with ID, social security number, drinking and smoking problems already. Like, these little kids don't listen. They do what they want to do. And if I really sat down and I evaluated the situation, I said, you know what? These motherfuckers been here before. They had to have been here before. And people, and I was reading a lot of shit about aliens and all that. So people was like, oh, you believe in aliens? Exactly what is an alien? Because I believe that to some other being, we are aliens. And when they say, have you seen a UFO? Everybody's seen a UFO. A UFO is an unidentified flying object. That means if you see an airplane way up in the air, you can't identify the bitch as an airplane, you just saw a UFO. So that's simple shit. But they have been reports that aliens are landing now. So here's, here's what I came up with. I believe that women, women are the reason why aliens are landing on Earth right now. Cause women are doing all this empowerment shit. They doing all this taking over. You know, I ain't never seen as much, as much women doing hip hop ever in my life. I was in the club on Friday and they played seven female songs in hip hop back to back. I'm like, well, damn, like, okay, well, I understand equality, but wait a minute. They got Mother's Day. They got the birthday. They got Woman's Month. And now they got the radio, and now they got the clubs. Oh, y'all asking for too much now. You asking for too much. You try to take over everything. But then I said, and I thought about it, well, is it, is it, is it really a bad thing? Well, it's not all that bad. I just don't want y'all to forget about us. Don't forget about us now. Because I'm a 70s baby raised in the 80s. When the song came on that the women want to dance to and shake their ass, they would find a nigga that they was attracted to and they would dance on them. Now the women are dancing on each other. Like, what the fuck? Y'all done forgot about us all that bad? And, and even though there's a, a there's a type of woman that everybody, every man have a, a preference, has a type. But when you bitches go to looking alike, man, and dressing alike, and y'all go to smelling alike and saying the same shit and acting alike, then how could you choose your man to, you, I could you accuse your man of cheating because he fucking the same thing that he always fantasized about. Anything you want to comment negative in the comments, you can go ahead and do it. And I, I'm not going to remove them. But while you're doing so, keep in mind that I hope you kiss my whole family ass because we don't give a fuck nothing about how you feel because this show is dedicated on unpopular opinions. We like our women to be powerful. We like our women to take care of themselves and make their own bag. But just don't forget about us. Keep it locked right here to bitch. I got my pots. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. I got my pots. Before going viral for his dance moves on TikTok, he was a sex symbol in the late 90s and early 2000s with baby making music and apps to follow. With that being said, here are the top four highest selling genuine albums of all time in the United States. Is there any room for number four with The Senior? It was released on April 8th, 2003, and it went gold on May 8th, 2003. And his fourth studio album met all expectations with the breakout song In Those Jeans, where he expressed his love for those Calvin, Iceberg, and Sergio jeans and the lucky lady in them. During the reign of urban hip hop, Genuine dropped multiple hits to put contemporary R&B back on the charts. With Chatterbrings, Hell Yeah, Sex featuring Sayo, Our Firstborn, and Big Plans featuring Method Man. 
Number three, The Life. It was released on April 3rd, 2001, and it went platinum on October 5th, 2001. And Genuine decided to work with notable producers such as Troy Oliver, Raphael Sadiq, and Corey Rooney for his junior album and took a different approach for the album's direction. And nothing was more of a rebrand than his first single, There It Is, where he was popping his shit, calling out an ungrateful woman. In my opinion, he was calling her a bum. But I guess going 50-50 was not a thing in the early 2000s. Very different from his lover boy persona. But he did release the song, listen closely, Differences. Not My Whole Life Has Changed for the People in the Back. In an interview with Clayton Perry posted on Blog Critics Magazine, Genuine explained the background to his track saying, quote, that song was really during a time when I was going through a depressed state because my dad and my mom had passed. We're writing a whole bunch of songs and what helped me out a lot was my wife. She wasn't my wife then, but that is what helped me out. I said, I'm going to write a song about her. And it happened to be a song that a lot of people wanted to sing to their wives when they were getting married. It's just one of those songs that will always be here. I'm just happy I'm the one that did it." End quote. Number two, 100% Genuine. It was released on March 3rd, 1999, and it went two times multi-platinum on August 2nd, 2000. The song So Anxious came out during the peak of lush 90s R&B music. And the producer was none other than Timberland, and he made one of the smoothest songs I've ever heard with a very silky beat with a beautiful orchestra in the chorus. And this attention to detail is something producers just don't put that much consideration and scrutiny into that much. But at least we have records such as this to reflect on. Number one, The Bachelor. It was released on September 27th, 1996, and it went two times multi-platinum on March 6th, 1999. This was his debut album, and the breakout track Pony made him a force to be reckoned with in the late 90s. And when I think of Pony, I think of some random scene from Magic Mike for some reason. And the song was very direct and gave full instructions to the kind of woman he wanted to hook up with. And girl, you better not fall off. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts. Courtesy of the RIAA. What artists would you like to see in the top five next week? Jump in the comments and let us know. Either way, I'm Tamara and this has been another top five on Trick Daddies. I got my pot. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. Your boy Trick Daddy Dollar, CEO and president of the Eat a Booty Gang, the Dade County Mayor slash player. That's right. And for y'all, all y'all want to all of a sudden be booty eaters. I've been eating booty since day one, nigga. Go check, go, go, go get check the receipts, nigga. On I be your player, I say I eat your coochie with your legs up, down your back, up your crack, then I blow all in your butt and lick your ass where your drawers crawl. So all you new, all you new shit eating ass nigga eating out the garbage, you don't eat every bitch booty. There's a lot of things you don't do. Like, I was, I had to step to a nigga on Love and Hip Hop the other day, I had to let a nigga know. Like, okay, me and Joy not together, we're not in love. We, 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 uh, only reason why we're married because I don't believe in getting a divorce and I want her to go to hell for continually cheating and committing adultery. So cause she keep fucking all these niggas and they ain't working out. So obviously I was the right nigga for her. But besides that, if me and you are cool, if me and you ever had a conversation, if I ever pass you the joint, if I ever offered you a drink out the Patron bottle in VIP, when you decide to choose the women that you attracted to, bitch ass nigga, don't use my wife. You can't be my, my husband-in-law, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, you supposed to be my dog. Like, find you another bitch to go like. Like, don't be trying to like her. Because, I, and besides, I don't approve you for her. The fuck? And, and speaking of, there's morals. Like if me and you cool, like your sister, your baby mama, your girl, like there's more women in the world than me trying to fuck them. God damn, nigga, have some morals. Like what? What the? What the? Um, them funny, them, 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 them um, two brothers kissing. You niggas want to come out the closet? How y'all gonna come out the closet? Y'all been hiding in the same closet? You gotta kiss another nigga, not the nigga that look like you, not your brother. Dumbass nigga, you gonna kiss your brother on TV for the trend? 
So now what you you promoting incest? You letting people know that everybody in your family is fucking? The weird ass little boy. I heard y'all the police anyway. But I'm gonna say that to another show. Man, y'all calm the fuck down. We're not doing all that. And shout out to Saucy Santana. And I'm gonna give a shout out to Saucy Santana because I don't want nobody to say, oh, Trick, he trying to make homophobic, uh, homophobic statements and bashing the gays. No, I told y'all, I got a sister that's been my brother her whole life. And God bless the dead, but I have an uncle that was my aunt. Saucy Santana got these niggas wearing eyelashes and full beards. That is a gangster ass punk right there, man. Shout out to Saucy Santana, man. Shout out to him. I, I, I respect all that, man. You got to have your own motion. Get your own motion. Get your own shit going. I don't have nothing against Saucy Santana. And from what I understand, he only did one little flaw shit in, in, in his career. That's the situation um, that happened at the office. When you're when you, when you, when you expressing your, your sexuality and you're expressing the way you feel about certain things, you got to also remember that there are people that are sensitive to certain things. So... A lot of young dudes are not familiar with these things and, and what, why, they, why others are not familiar with talking about them. Because I remember, it was, I, and people was like, well, every everything is gay, 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 this. There's a lot of things I don't agree with, but one thing I did know is like the back in my days, if you were gay, you wasn't allowed to express yourself. And a lot of that uh, caused a lot of gay men to be isolated, to commit suicide and this and that. Because if you was gay growing up, in the 70s and 80s, you had to, you, you had to wait. You was about 30 years old to come out the closet. And to, and to a certain extent, I kind of understood that. But now when you got little kids holding hands, being in a relationship, gay or straight, when mamas, when mamas in their 30s, late 20s and 30s, is describing their child friend as their girlfriend or boyfriend, like you niggas and you hoes is going to hell. Let them, let them kids grow up, let them decide on their own what they're going to be, and then everybody going to be all right. Remember this, some of us better than most of us, ain't none of us better than all of us. But you can't be pushing in there. You can't be a man that's marrying a man and want to adopt a little girl. You can't be a man that's marrying a man and want to adopt a little boy. Because I've learned a lot from my mother when my father wasn't in my life as much. So if my mama showed me certain things, I would think that that was cool common sense man it's common sense we have to stick together in this corporation that we live in because this ain't a fucking country nobody likes none of the presidents every president come along bitch gonna have something to say but if you like donald trump you is something really really wrong with your ass if you don't mind getting your pussy grabbed okay that's cool but i think gonna tell you he gonna grab your pussy and then grab your pussy and then tell you he didn't grab your pussy Think about that and keep it locked right here to a bitch. I got my pots. I got my pots. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. And remember this if you're ever in the Miami area, you want you a good meal, something to make your tongue slap your brain out, make sure you stop by Sunday's Eatery. I'm the original home of fried ribs, I'm the place that. Do not play putting sugar in grits. I know a lot of y'all from Memphis and St. Louis, y'all do all that stuff, but that's incorrect, that's disrespectful, that's very childish. Sugar going Kool-Aid, oatmeal, cake. You don't go in no goddamn grits. Only thing for the being grits is a little salt, pepper, and some butter. Now I want to talk about something before the end of the show. I want to address one thing. I've been hearing women say they can't relate to sexy red. Everything ain't for you. If you ain't got nothing good to say about the bitch, don't you say nothing. Sexy red don't owe you nothing. She in her bag, she doing her thing. Plus she have a huge fan base. Her music is for them. The rest of y'all fuck you. That's like, what is wrong with you people? You, you, got, you, you, you try to criticize a lot of shit. It's always the bitches that ain't got their shit together. You see, you always like a barrier of bad news. You always come and disappointed, bitch, come and telling bitch some, some gossip. He say, she say, shit, and you always start off by, you ain't heard it from me. See, I, I know what type of hoes you is. Sexy Red don't give a fuck about you, bitch. Shout out to Sexy Red, she doing her thing. Shout out to all the female rappers, all the female rappers that's out there. And, if, and this is, I, I, can, I, I grew up 
with the likes of Queen Latifah, MC Lighting, Moni Love, and Trina, and Foxy, and, and Kim, and Eve, and Mia X, and, 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 and Raw Digger, and all these very, very talented females, but never at one point in time like now have the women ever been in control and i'm shout out to all the women man we appreciate y'all man i just want all the female rappers that's at the top of their game for all of you i just want you to know as long as i got a face you always got a place to sit in my life baby i just want you to know that god damn it and all the haters and the females are so powerful they got the niggas doing lipo yeah you niggas is doing lipo Wait a minute, you niggas started off wearing your pants so tight that if you pull them up, you'll show your shape. And now you niggas doing lipo. Fuck out of here, man. Leave something to... Let the, let the women have that, man. It's their time. If y'all want to compete in the music game, y'all step your game up. Stop using that auto-tune shit all the time. Stop sounding like other niggas. Stop buying all these fake-ass chains and watches. You know, stop to start taking care of your kids. Do shit like that, man. Do something for your neighborhood, your community. Do something for your family. With that being said, I need to bring my next guest on, right? I've been knowing this girl for a long, long time. And she remind me a little bit of... She remind me a, a little bit of, of these female rappers because... If you didn't know her, you would think she was a stuck up type bitch, right? But that ain't her MO. She's very outspoken. She like to have fun. And she 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 been down, she been coming to Miami. She she started coming to Miami about 15 years ago, or better probably. And then she walked in the studio today with about 10 other bitches and all on fine. Now so I went to slob and I didn't know which one to get at. So I, I left it wide open for me, but any one of them wants a booty head, they're welcome to me, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if they got means or not or whatever, but I've been going to Memphis for a long time. I've been fucking with Memphis niggas and, uh, and rather North Memphis, South Memphis or whatever. Niggas like A-Ball and MJG always represented Memphis. They had niggas from Miami wanting to see what Memphis was about. So now I'm gonna introduce you to a female out of hold Memphis. On, that's hold on, hold on, you ain't gonna introduce shit. What's up? Man, what's up, baby? Hey. This, this, this dime. <laughs> listen, man, listen. And, um. Trick. I'm glad you kept your whole name. You are. Yeah, because it's a lot of, it's a lot of fake dimes out there now. Listen, they trying to remake a bitch, all type of shit. There's a lot of fake dimes out there. I, what you got going on? I see you, and your jury look better than the niggas' jury. Listen, you know I can't play. Y'all taught me well down here. Your nigga bought that? Yeah, I can't What he lie. do? You don't fuck with street niggas no more? You know I'm married. You married? To Sean Williams. He played in the NBA for 14 years. Oh, I know Sean Williams. Yeah, and he used to play for Miami. Y'all got, I know Sean. Sure. Y'all got true? Yes. How many true y'all got? We got two now. We got a little girl, her name Blessing. She's five. And then we got Wisdom. I just had him, he won. And he get a little blues, damn, baby. Sean. Sean hit a lick. He hit a lick. You better tell him. You better tell him. Listen. You be, you be acting like that? You be acting the same way? Yeah, I, we both from Memphis. We both oh, from Oh, so he understand. We both from Memphis. We, ca we kind of been messing out back and forth for a little while over the years, you know? But when you, he was in the league, so it's like, nigga, you're not finna play with me, you know? Right. We, so he, we'll but, but, but one thing I can around. say about one thing I can say about him, he ain't no John Moran, no dumbass nigga. Listen, my husband from Memphis, but you know, I feel like Ja Young. Yeah, Young, let me explain something to you. I, want, I, I feel like Memphis is getting to Ja. It ain't, it ain't about that. Being in Memphis, Be, but Memphis because will listen, turn you out. Let, let me explain something to you. Miami will turn you out. A lot of bitches come here on vacation, leave on probation. They you know do. that. A lot they of niggas come. That's it. A lot of niggas come to Miami and think that they this and that and this and that. This shit will. Chew you up. It will bring you. It will bring swallow you, you and throw you back out. Sure but my thing is, as black folk, we always talk about uh, retribution, and we always talk about our forty uh, acres in a mule, and, and and we do this to get out the hood and got the projects and not the struggle. I would blame his family and the niggas he around 
before I blame Memphis because that's a grown ass man that's got an opportunity that a lot yeah, of niggas ain't like got. It. Nobody ain't saying nothing. It's they, like nobody, they saying something. They saying bad shit about him now. But I'm saying his family and his people that's around him because they got their hand out. Right, they got they but hand I don't out. like that because then what's gonna happen? Y'all gotta protect the money. So what's gonna happen if he gets to the point where he ain't in the league no more? He can't take care of y'all no more. He almost to that stand point. Stand up to him and tell him. Hey, bro, whatever it is, fake gun, real gun, whatever it is, just stop. You ain't no gangster, just stop. But you, you riding around with these cool. niggas. You riding around, listen, man, I'm in the, the NBA. The rappers want to be ball players, the ball players want to be rappers. <laughs> the nigga, the nigga Le'Veon Bell gave, uh, was in the studio rapping. Then when they came to him with a franchise pad at Pittsburgh, he passed it by. Then he let old stripper bitch rob him for a half a million a year. You lame ass nigga. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? You need a nigga like me to tell these niggas, like you niggas is doing too much of nothing. You need to do a counseling. That, that nigga, no, ja, 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 I'm, I'm canceling Ja Morant now. And you if, you, if he ain't watching, and one of y'all his homeboy, one of y'all his friends, and you care about him, if you know his uh, social media page, tag him. Bruh, keep them squares out your circle, my nigga. Mm -hmm. God will take your blessings away from you if you don't use them on yourself. I know that. Before I was 17, I went to prison twice. I ain't been since, nigga. Cause don't be no fool. I, I, stop. You don't have to impress no motherfucking body. You don't have to impress nobody. The, the athletes are making so much money now, too. I think it's hurting them mentally. Uh huh. And they Y'all could have been the, face, the next face of the NBA. Yeah, you think it's out, but you don't think he could still be? You don't think he could come back from me? I think he could come back from anything. Not if he gonna keep a nigga in the passenger seat with the with the live on. I think he I think he got this last little incident, I think he really, really got a taste of what it could really be. When he thought they was gonna take this shoe deal and do all that, I think reality kicked in. Man, listen. I do. Let me explain something to you. One thing I know. See, all these, all these big Marketing firms, all these big investment firms. Uh, you clean they, up. They wasn't. Ideas. They wasn't fucking with us. That's including Gucci, Louis Prada, and yeah. all the other designers. Yeah. They wasn't making that shit to fit us. My first pair of Louis and Gucci jeans I bought, I had to buy them two sizes bigger because they didn't stretch. I feel like none stretch. of it is made for us. But now it is because they know we are the consumer of the most products mm -hmm. in the world. We are the most. We we the ones that you can advertise the best advertisement. We are the ones that we will spend our last dime mm -hmm. on some designer. On some designer, mm -hmm. a girl that spend her last dime on getting her wig done. Yeah, and me, but I, I, I mean that's necessary. But me, I'm gonna tell you what I like: what braids, twists, every now and then, pigtails. I like that, and I don't like women that say that's for little girls. I don't know you a little. No, girl. I love a braid. I love a nice because long, sexy braid. If I tell you to get ready, I don't need you to spend two hours. I don't need you texting the bitch trying to get you your wig installed and the bitch tell you text message only and then they tell you to send a deposit. You got me fucked just up. Just for you to take it to dinner. Just, then I got to do all of it to take you to dinner. Then you ain't ready when I get there. Well, that's how I go when you fucking with a bad bitch like me. Man, listen. I, I, but I, you know what? My husband had told me he loved when I get my sew in with my rear, like my rear He like the smell of that spritz. I love the smell of that stench. <laughs> Y'all, they take that. I love the smell of spritz. That get my dick hard in the fifth grade. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I'm not into all that other shit. What they got? Closures, frontals, yep. bundles, lace wigs, lace wig. bundles. They got the lace braids. Yeah, you know, you can get your wig braided into a, you know. So you no, that's just, that's just you know the take a long time. Let me tell you something. Dude, when you take your lashes off, do you still have your real lashes up under there? Yeah, I do. Because you get individuals. Yeah, and I make been, sure I put my Oh, because you've been fucking you've been fucking niggas with money for a long time, though. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to compare you. You know, I ain't no, you know, I ain't no bottom feeder. But that's why I, listen. But you know what? From where I came from, from being down here dancing into where I'm in now, that's why I got all the girls with me that you see. Because uh, I got my own show coming out called The Men. The men. Mm hmm I got exotic dancers, 13 of them. I got some hoes that you need on this show. Listen, we're going to talk about I don't it. like exotic dancers. I like strippers. You need That's to put strippers on there. That's what's on there, strippers oh, okay. on there. Hey, they, I, ain't never seen, I ain't never seen the exotic, exotic dancers. They be at Tootsie's. Well, they I guess I was being like political. I forgot where the fuck I was at. Yeah, I don't go to Tootsie. They be like, welcome to the stage. It's the lovely Diana. No, I don't want to see that. And bitch. Diana gets a. I want to see strawberry. Yeah. I want to see hot fudge. Oreo. Chocolate. Shit. Three mustard tears. <laughs> no, but the girls, they bad. 
They, but all of them, they got. You got to get one thick bitch, cause thanks to Lizzo, and it's not a bad thing, cause they I always think. Like, but thank, but thanks to Lizzo, Lizzo got these these big bitches so I confident. Love Lizzo. Lizzo got these big bitches. But I went on the Cali crew. Them big bitches had dents and shit they everywhere. They more confident than me because I won't even wear my ass out. They be having their whole and, ass and out. And, I, and, and I, I feel like my little cellular, like, I don't want to put it out. And they be, asking, they be asking me, they be like, well, can I take a picture? Yeah, you can take a picture. Can't wait I, li- I like you big, you big, good smelling they be, bitch. They be pretty and big. I love nice dressing, how they carry yeah, themselves. Yeah, but Lizzo put got together the, well. Lizzo empowered the big bitches to I a whole it. nother level, man. Shout out to all the big Shout bitches, man. Shout out to them. But I ain't going to say the big bitches. I'm going to say big bitches. Don't care if a bitch don't like it. Because if you don't think you a bitch, I'm not talking to you. No, nah, not the bitch part. Oh, you, uh, I'm just saying, you know. The big bitches. The voluptuous ones. The big bitches. The big bitches. But do you they, I put, they, listen, I put I 13. got homeboys that don't like nothing but big bitches. Yeah, me too. I got a homeboy named Alton that's Gray. They, that's their speed. That's what they stick to. I got to. a homeboy named Alton Gray. They call him twin. He's a twin. He said he need, he need him a bitch to something and ready to do something. <laughs> Ooh. They be freaky too, boy. The big ones? Yeah. I like, the, I like the skinny ones. Really? I like them skinny and tall because I'm a pleaser. And if, we, if she don't want to fuck, we don't got to fuck. I, I, just lay down, baby. I got you. Really? So you don't have to like no. have sex? I was I was eating pussy four years before I even thought about fucking. Really? Yeah, I'm an expert. Because you know, my, a, a lot of men be really they are ple- they love to please the woman, but then they be want to straight get their dick wet. Like it's it's like I know after I do this, I'm getting my dick wet. No, so I, that's I, the only reason I'm doing I'm, it. I'm, I'm a, when I when I, when I do it. If anything, I'm gonna make you feel like you have to suck my dick or give yeah, me. Yeah, I have to reward this, yeah, this yeah, man. Yeah, like, I did. He's so good. Like, I, I just gotta show like, him. Like, bitch, come out singing. Congratulations, baby. Appreciate it. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Yes. I'm so a- yeah, I put 13 girls in the damn house together. I don't know what made me do this, but I picked girls that all had talent. I love. Where you filmed it at? I filmed it in Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Yeah, but I think I need to come here next season. You need to do you it. Need to I help need. Me. You need to help me. You That'd need be, to be I, like I know, I know the bitches. I know the bitches. So, 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 the, so the show is finished. It's finished. It's wrapped up. It's ready to come out. Yeah, we the auditions come out today, actually. And what, what, what network is it on? It's on now. It's TV. It's a new network. Okay. They've been up a year. Black on. Oh, and, and let me I tell like you, I like coming so, up with people. Let me. That's. Some, I, I was just gonna say that. A couple years ago, people like kids that play basketball or football, they would only commit to the big schools mm-hmm. because. They figured they would get drafted. Mm-hmm. A bitch would draft you from anywhere mm-hmm. if, you, if you got talent these days. Mm-hmm. So don't never let that deter you. A lot of kids want to leave their homes, towns, because of the violence, because of the poverty, mm-hmm. and I don't blame them. Mm-hmm. But locally, y'all got to support your own athletes, yep. your own the talent. Mm-hmm. You got to support your own shit and keep your shit in house. That way, you ain't got to get mad when a nigga get rich and move to Atlanta and move to Texas, and move to Miami, then you mad at a nigga talking about, oh, he forgot where he came from. Well, you ain't protect him, you ain't help him, you ain't aid him, you ain't support him. Right. So damn right, he went with a support at. Yeah, as he should. And, but that's what I always do. I'm from Memphis, I love my city. But Miami, I stayed here for so long, and y'all just, y'all just all just show me so much love here. It's like y'all bad, raised bad, me. Bad, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, the first five years I know you, I just used to talk to you because I just like to hear your country ass you accent. You used to sit in the club and you used to yeah. actually talk to me. Yeah, I like your country ass accent. And like, That's crazy. Like you remember that? Yeah. You don't come in there and cheat? I still, I go out every night still. Because you don't really too much get dances in the club and stuff. Nah, no, I, well, my thing is this. I, I, I grew up in a strip club where before there was strip clubs in Miami, the strip clubs was real gentleman club. Mm-hmm. That means that's where all the real niggas met up. And, 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 and talking about bits and talking about mm-hmm. dope and talking about hustling and problems. Mm-hmm. And then after a while, somebody's birthday party came up and it was like, let's get some hold to dance. Yeah. And it turned to that. It turned to that. And then it turned from that to niggas' hoes is coming to the club to our hangout spot looking for them to, to start some shit. So we started the um, Monday night boxing at the Rolex. Oh, that's how the boxing that's how started. That started. Yeah, that's legendary because it's like when I moved in here, I used to hear about it, but I, I am, you know. But I, I don't. For it. My thing is, I, I'm the type I can't even. I don't even like fucking in the car. 
Me neither. I got to I be am. comfortable, honey. Ain't yeah, nobody trying to be handing out Charlie horse after getting no nut. Yeah, man. And so in a club, in a club atmosphere, it was like, Y'all in there doing we, we, y'all we thing. We went to, like, like when you got on stage, like, we had the ones ready. Ready. You feel me? Yeah. Like, we had them ones ready. Like, ready. You knew who you came to the club to see. Mm-hmm. If I tell a bitch, what's a bitch out of Memphis, a fine bitch out of Memphis, they ain't dying. And she worked there, they gonna she be worked, in they, there. They, they like. I feel like that's how everybody got to know me by word that, of mouth. That's everybody how I used to say I look like Trina. Me and Pinky. Yeah, me and you, me, once you know, once you know the main characters. Yes. It, Pinky, it, it, it's no, Keisha, yeah. you, Trina. It's a wrap. Big man, it's a wrap. Nevi Cylinder, it's a wrap. And that was the that was the main thing. Then now the girls is dancing. Down. I, mean, I tell you this, you ain't gonna believe it. What? These hoes is dancing with a whole Rolex on. Hey, I did it. But this ain't for them. You did it because you was you were you were grandfathered in. You had done mm-hmm. you had done got to the bag already. Yeah, yeah. It's a big difference. But my girls that I put on the show. They got talent. Some of them rap, some of them sing, some of them Do actresses. any one do any any of the tricks like the, the, the pole tricks? I ain't really was crazy Brian about pole tricks. Brian can walk on her shoulders. I, I, you she remember that you when you down here when you were down here when the bitch that bitch used to be dancing on stage and then she act like her stomach hurt and she will fall on, on lay down and and have the baby. No, I missed that one there. That's the era. I remember in the, which I came. the bottles in the booty. The bottle in the booty and all that, but that ain't that, that ain't. What about what about, about, about the one? What about the ones that stick all the beads in the ass and tell you hold this? And then they play the song, walk it out, and then the bitch walk to the other end of the club and beads still I ain't coming see out that of the one now. Hold on. Now, see, see where you at, see? Man, y'all wildin' over here, boy. No, I'm just I'm kicking this, this like this what like my this like tree? my little sister, this like my homegirl. Like I could I could talk like that. To yeah, her. but there's one thing you do. didn't say. She said she got a TV show called The Mint, but you shot it in Atlanta. Yeah. That don't make sense. Wow. What? Because the, the mint That's where I'm in now. The mint ain't our mint ain't the only mint. That's the only mint. That's the strip club. This my mint. Oh, so you I'm made a, okay, that. so I'm dying. Where's the money made in the United States? Right, okay. the, US the U.S. Men. Right. So okay. that's what I'm doing. I'm making dimes. These girls, they want to get out the club. They want to stop dancing. They want to be rappers. They want to be singers. They want to be actors. They own businesses. So I'm trying to help them. Oh, now see, we gonna fall out by this. Let me tell you this. Cause you don't so, want me to get them out the club. Where the fuck am I be hanging at? It's other girls coming up. I don't it's like them. I don't like them. The the new hoes, no bays, right? They, 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 they pussy me smelling like. Big red chewing gum. I don't like that. But them little young girls, it's like somebody need to teach them a little etiquette. Like <laughs> pussy wash etiquette. It's really a way to clean your pussy. Bitches don't understand. They got my, that. my mama said you gotta get up in there with your finger in that you rag. You gotta get up in there with the finger with the rag. In the a, ass and the pussy. That's a lot. <laughs> in the ass and the pussy. I don't care. It's like I done really did so when I get out the shower to my own self, honey. Cause I'ma get up in there. Man, the, the show. I, I want to be. What ready. else? You, you marketing stuff for the show? You ain't got. Let me tell you, this, get your merch. Yeah. Get your merch. Get, this, get your merch now. I and am. even if you have, even if you have to deal with one of those, what's the name of the company? Like you order it from them, and they see your percentage. What yeah, they call? like a drop, drop shipping. shipping. Drop. Even mm-hmm. if you got to do, it, get your merch because people want merch. People want to be a part of some shit. Yeah. And, 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 and you're a very, you're a very lovable and likable person. Thank you, Tree. They're gonna be one or two haters, but who cares? They I ain't got. They don't got nothing. But after, after, after land on their mama couch after two, three weeks, they'll forget about it. They'll like, girl, a, find something else to do. Yeah, but you got to get your merch. That's mm-hmm. right. We got merch too, man. You got to and you got to bring and you got to bring the girls down com. here. Ooh, yeah. Bring the girls down here. Just let me show them around. Let me bring them some Sundays. Let me treat them something to eat. It'll let's get us great. an Airbnb. And... Let's have a ball. Yeah, let's we'll have get... a party like a whole little mint party. Not yeah. no old school mint party. No, this the new mint. This my mint. Oh, okay, cause I'm know, running this shit. You know how we did old parties. I, I did wanna... a whole club and everything. Trick. It was called the mint. It was a challenge though. For man, me. I'm just mad at that though. That's man. good. But and I, I, did you I, see I the whole show the already? The club down here. Yeah. I, but, but like I, told I go to the mint every night. That's trick hangout That's spot. That's crazy. I go to the mint every night and look. And the mint, believe it or not, got some of the baddest bitches in Miami. But why don't we try to do something for next season? 
We, we, ain't, we ain't gonna tell them too much. We don't tell At the mint. Did you see the whole season yet? You 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 I'm watched still, it? I'm, yeah, we we editing and cutting and oh, okay. doing everything. Cause I'm I got good editors. Music. I got good editors over there. He will this nigga Antoine will point you to him, but don't let him be a part of nothing. <laughs> yeah, cause you the, said he you does. See the, the, you see this this, this nigga here, the sound man, and this nigga here, they very good. They okay. know what to go do. Very he professional. Will, and, and do me a favor too. Don't take no picture with this nigga Antoine when, after the show. Cause you yeah. said that he get people. No, no, he, he, be, he keep getting oh, people pregnant. Oh, he got oh, he get him pregnant. Just throwing that dick apart. Barry one of Barry Gordy, Barry Sanders, Barry Boy, he gonna fuck him bell. Down. Straight fuck up. Fuck him down to they socks. That's great. All the children look alike. Ooh. This man is out of is control. Is he lying on you? I can't believe it. You know, I've been knowing him a and long time, too. I'm, I'm trying to tell fool you. Me. I, I, I brought him out of the house. Man. I brought him out of the house. This nigga come behind me from my high school, from my era. I brought a nigga. I know a dirty dick nigga when I see him. Oh, Get some rice. That nigga almost got him up. He might have got him up than my daddy. <laughs> How many pops got? Probably got about 20. Probably learned the rubbers, though. He got his excuse. <laughs> Pop gonna kill me and your ass, bitch. I ain't just. Pop, pop, pop. I ain't gonna say nothing about pop. No, 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 no. Give me some of that. Not that. You don't want no gravy? Nah. I'm Why got meat in it? Yep. Why you don't want gravy? Because yeah. I don't eat meat. I don't eat no cartoon. Nigga eat ass, but he so don't what, eat meat. So let me meat. ask you this. How you, what you feel about? Because I know you was part of the getting the female rap movement. Right. Started. What I, you feel about all the girls out, like right oh, now? Oh, oh, oh. But it ain't Lola Brooks. He's the king. Lola Brooks. Because started it. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Lola Brooks. I love that bitch. Sexy you love red. Lola. I Lola. love her. Hey, she's so cute and little. Man, she about this little. I ain't never met her, but she looks so Man, cute. Man, I, I met her Can at I the BET. I met her at the BET Awards. Of course. Uh, I met her at the BET Awards. She's very humble, very respectful. Yeah. And this little and got a big ass voice. She had a wonderful, I love her tone. Lola Brooks. Sexy all the only thing I want to say is all the female rappers, if you motherfuckers don't pay homage to people like MC Light. Yes. People Queen like Latifah. Queen Latifah. People like Trina, Moni Love, Lil Kim, Moni Love, Brat, Brat, Missy Elliott. If y'all don't pay homage to them, y'all gonna hey, lose. Not, it. not only that, you City from Girls Memphis, gonna be down. Gangsta, Gangsta Boo, Lil Chat, Lil Chat. Y'all gotta remember the female, uh, the females that really set it off for y'all. These females down here, I like Lola Me Bruce, but she was shooting at a bitch in the first record I heard. I'm like, yeah. she was like, Rah. yeah, I'm like, oh shit. Like, I, I'm bullshit, on that. All her bullshit. Lady you gonna, you gonna pray on her? You wanna yeah. pray? So you gonna, you gonna let you lead in prayer. Come okay, on. cool. Come on. Lord, thank you for bringing us together today. Lord, bless this food. Bless the chef that prepared the food. Bless all the crew. Yes. Bless my girls, everyone that came to support us. We appreciate you, Lord, for having us here on your earth another day. Thank you. We ask for your blessings as we eat this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Shout out, shout, shout out to all the female rappers, man. They yeah, shout out around. to everybody. I'm still doing my thing. I'm gonna put my music on the show. Yeah, when you gonna put your music out though? I've been, man. I'm putting it out. I'm doing the mint soundtrack, so it'll be all my music and some of the girls' music. One time you were taking the music um serious, but I see you done met the NBA nigga. Well, we've been like, together for, we've been married for six years though. But y'all been off and on. No, we haven't. No, we was off and on before we got together this last uh, time uh, well. when we was younger. So we've been together this whole time. We got so what you family. think about the whole the whole Memphis movement with the music and stuff like I that? I love it. I love it. It's a movement, but at the same time, it's a little divided in the city. So it's really, it's like, always divided in the city. Yeah. Nobody needs to do it. Y'all let it come and do something to eat. Y'all, y'all, y'all ready? Come on. Y'all come on. Look, they like yes, please. Hurry up. Just grab one. These my friends and my girls from the mid. Mm. This gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's What's up? up? Say hi to the camera, gorgeous. Hey, Shreebe, Shreebe, say hi to the camera. Is that enough plates? We guys, we'll make some. Uh, okay. I feel like a pimp. <laughs> make a plate like mine for her. Okay. You don't eat no meat? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> man. Well. Oh, you get me. All righty then. <laughs> so tell us about that Memphis movement. Like, oh, who, yeah. who you so, fucking with? So listen, I fuck with all the Memphis artists, but um, I love Gloss, Glitter Gloss. I love, I love gloss. her music. She just came out with a song called, excuse me, Trick for Reaching, called uh, Rich Baby Mom. I love it. Um, I love I love the movement Gorilla uh, had. 
That was nice. And I also love Money Bag and his run he having. Um, yeah. It's a little guy that just got out of jail named Lil Kenny. He hard as hell. He came out ready to, to get going. It's like Memphis just got a sound that ain't nowhere else. Just like y'all got it here in Miami. I, I last night I went to the club. I'm like, damn, is they gonna play some stick? Ah, stick. Ah. So what they like, do? Was him, the, but they was not playing no good stuff. The, the, the DJ, let me tell you why. It made me mad. The new DJ. Who's this? Don't matter. It's me. Okay. The new DJ. Here. Got a MacBook Pro and some beat headphones. But it looked like the girls that Lee should have said something. That shit was whack. Them hoes weren't making no money with that whack ass DJ doing that. Wow. You know, I'll, I'll get the end of the night, bitch. I ain't giving you no tip. You done played all this whack ass music all night. I ain't you want a, a nigga, dollar. You want a nigga to turn up? Turn that bitch up. What are you doing? Where are we at? The regular? Uh, we at Tussies or we at. Either, either that or you got that nigga that wait till your part of the song get ready to come on. He switched the rap. And I don't like when they dick hole. When they like do a what? rapper come, a dick hole. Like if a rapper come in there. They feel like they gotta play all that rapper music the whole I hate night. See, you better tell them. And they don't even spend no money, damn. I tell, I, I, I tell them, I tell them, dog, I told the dog, don't play my shit when I'm in the club, dog. <laughs> I really don't want to hear that. That ain't really what I came here for. You know, for. I mean, a uh, uh, knife. Just get them one. Get that knife right there, yeah. Yeah, I need one of you. I gotta get up into this pork chop. Let me see what you working with, because really, I really could have outcooked you. Really? I'm from Memphis. I can cook. It's like it's a second night. And then you woke cook. up. <laughs> but y'all don't have no soul food restaurants in Memphis. Yes, we do. You, you all y'all have look, is look. just wings and fries. Look at all, no, the bad, look all, all them bad that? babies right there. I look. drive down the street. They're not even talking. Look, see? Right, because they know. It's good, y'all. You drive down MLK we, we can Boulevard. Y'all can do better. Can do better. Thank can't you. Tell them. Oh, this shit bad. Ooh, I was waiting on Y'all don't even have strip clubs. Like, what strip clubs y'all got in Memphis? You know what? It's not a big strip town. Memphis is not. Matter of fact, y'all don't even have clubs. It's regular clubs, man. We party. We party. Y'all go to the next town. We got lit. We got love. Right. Y'all been to love. Yeah. Prohibition Lounge. Mm. Prohibition. You know, money bag. Whatever happened to the Big Apple? Money bag got a restaurant. Yo mm. Gotti got a restaurant. Mm-hmm. My homeboy Cam Special got his seafood yeah, restaurant. Yeah, shout out to my friend Cam. Yeah. Straight Drop. Straight Drop, Straight drop is the best seafood yeah. spot Ever. in Memphis. I just shot a video in there not too long. But other than that, mm -mm. Crump is hot wings and our barbecue. So you, I don't know who's see bringing what you, you around. See, see what you don't said, hot wings. I don't know why y'all coming to Memphis not calling me anyway. Hot wings. What you, they doing? You international. You either Atlanta. See, I've never been there. In Miami, Memphis, where you at? See yo different, see yo weird. <laughs> yeah, he'll just be there. The young niggas will be like, he weird, daddy. <laughs> My son is always the son. See yo different, yeah. Every time I see him anywhere around the world, he always same, humble. I did, daughter. I just did wild enough. Well, I know you put up. And what I said, oh what God. I said before, I, I performed Doug Holiday with Tasha Scott. Mm -hmm. And when I said before that, I said free Doug, free Lucci, free everybody. Free, mm -hmm. Freedom boys, Give them, I think everybody deserves another chance. Another chance, I do too. I wish that lady, it's that lady in Atlanta, she is not playing. It's like she got it out for them folks. One of my best friends is my age. Mm -hmm. and he done did 34 years in prison. He in there now? He out, he, he just got back out. Damn, 34 He years. got out after 31 years, he violated him. They, let, they kept him locked back up. Three years. Where do you start from after 30 years in prison? Man, I mean, the iPhone wasn't even out. Yeah, it wasn't even like an iPad. The iPhone, world. bitch, we didn't have no phone. We had beepers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that man, that man went to prison in 89. Ago. And he came on to a flat screen Damn. TV. Like, think about that. It wasn't wow. no flat screens. It was DVD players. We ain't even got DVD players. It anymore. was VCRs. That man oh, don't know yeah. what no DVD players. I said 89. Damn, that it wasn't no DVDs by. in 89. Mm -mm. Mm. We just got CDs in, in 90. Wow. So he I passed that whole baby. era. Damn. Well, I'm a whole grown woman he, now. He was fortunate to have a nigga like me as his friend. You had him now. I put him up on every motherfucking thing. The nigga can't drive, though. Now you know a nigga can't drive, because they always accusing you not knowing how to drive. My husband. 
That nigga always put on his seatbelt. I'm like, what are you doing putting on your seatbelt? Yeah, like you feel like I'm gonna do something like wreck the car song. And that's the one talking about she know how to eat meat who keep messing with her titties. Somebody gonna fuck you up about the old man. Keep on. Ooh. I got my girl Jessica died. She came to hang out with her, just like my little sister. Yes. Representing Memphis, represent ATL, representing the Mrs. new the new show. The Mint. The Mint, man, I can't wait Another for that. Another TV in premiere is August the 27th. August the 27th, you make sure you remind us. So I we wish y'all would've came to Atlanta for the premiere. It's gonna be a time. We need to do one in Miami at she, the Mint. She on I it. do that. Yeah, she on that. That would be dope. That's gorgeous. Her name should be Meat. Meat. What about that black Meat. one that was sitting by you over there? Hmm. Her name should be Meat. That's one of my home girls. Let me see, I don't see her she no said, more. She gone, yeah, she I gone somewhere. I ain't gonna say what she said. Uh. Yeah, she from Huntsville. Yeah. Huntsville. Shea she Marie. Shout out to Shea Marie. Shout out to Shea Marie. She right here. She's on the men. She, the, her right oh, there. That was, that's she. She the country girl. That's Asian. All y'all got into that um, Rose Royce outside? Y'all came mm -hmm. in with No, we had, they came after us in the black truck. Dang. But my girls is chef's kids. I put my foot in that case. You know, I ain't no hater, bitch. I want to see bad bitches. Yeah. I don't got time for that. That's right. Don't waste my time. That's what I'm talking about. You know? And women, y'all remember this. Y'all bad in your own way, man. Yeah. See, every nigga that say they like you, he don't really like you. And everybody that's some kin of you, they ain't really family. You see, a nigga will fuck you over because they would love to fuck you, but never love the fuck out of you. This is my girl dying piece. Y'all make sure y'all go watch the whole series bro, called The Men. Y'all come up My here. boy, CEO. My, That's my, right. Come on, ladies. Y'all come on. Come on. Come on. Come, on lady. come on, the big titties. Come stand by me so these girls can know. <laughs> that if, was my house mom. If you can't the if, if you me. catch her next to your Shoot. nigga, if you catch her next to your nigga in the picture, <laughs> you see them shit right now. Right. Look that this way. is the house mom trick. She was in there checking. Hey, trick, look how she sucked his bone right here. Trick, trick. 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 Like look crazy. No, <laughs> trick, look, look how she sucked his bone. Lead. You sucked all that off that bone like that? I did. Mean, <laughs> I did. Mean, I did. 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 I Real Cuss up real bad. That's crazy, lady. I call her crazy, lady. Yeah, that's Ashley. No, cause because I, I just like crazy. Well, we got a rapper named Crazy Lady, OG nigga, and he had this song called Jiggalo, Jiggalo, Jiggalo. Look that way, y'all. <laughs> you taking a picture? No, we just looking at the camera. Come on, oh. <laughs> Don't get shot now. Come on. That's Reedy. Okay. She from Memphis. Like, she really? got a Cuban link on with her bracelet. Oh, I know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. The Miami. I, I yeah. Yes. It's, no, it's one nigga say we got that from him. I ain't gonna bring that up either. I ain't, we ain't gonna say nothing. Does he say y'all got the Cuban link yeah. from him? Yeah, yeah, he said we got all that from him. Yeah, yeah you can have some of that Opalaka water right here. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. That's that Opalaka. Come on over, son. Oh, Opalaka yeah, spring on. water. Two right here. August 27th. That's the last one, friend. Neil August 27th. The man on Now That's TV. I brought some of my girls. I brought my house mom. Thank you for having us. Trip. Thank you for coming. I love y'all forever. We love you too. Gemini. I want to come oh, down here and bring God. the girls. We're going to do a turn up. We need to do a big party at the oh, event. That's what we need to do. Let's do it. That, Set that it up. Let's so get it popping. That'll be dope. Big dick leave. That would be dope. <laughs> What y'all back here talking about? <laughs> now we talking about horoscope sign. Hey, y'all always remember when you're ever in the Miami area and you're looking for some bad bitches, they probably at Sundays. Hit us up, Sunday's eatery. Get your new, get your Sunday seasoning, man. This shit go on everything but mermaid. You're gonna get but a bad yeast infection. <laughs> and remember, bitch, I got my pot. Ha ha! Hey. 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 What's up, y'all? Y'all already know what it is, man. This is the part of the show where we talk about, we just talk about something different. I got my dog, Mike Smith. What's up, boy? What's happening, OG? What they do? Man, just chilling, man. I see you doing some big things. You've been cooking it up out there. Yeah. You got a new movie out. What's the name yeah. of the movie, man? It's Let everybody called know. Cuzzo. Cuzzo. Yeah, right now. It's on Tubi right now. Right. And, and it's doing real good. Soon to be on BET. Oh, okay. My first movie. Man, you did a hell of you know a job for that to be your first movie. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I'm proud of myself, man. You know, for the crib, a lot of people from the crib in the movie. Yeah, man. Till Drill, Kent Jones. I saw that. And yeah. also Emmett, right? Emmett is yeah. the executive producer of the movie, which yeah. the story is really based around him. Most definitely. That you played him in the movie. Yeah. So what yeah. was the movie about? 
It's just like some real life stuff, man. He uh, went, to, went to jail at a young age, right. did some time. And uh, now, you know, when he was locked up, he got a trade, culinary arts, and you know, he been into the music game, mm -hmm. like trying to do his rap stuff. So right. when he come home, he trying to pursue that. Right. But then he got some things, some skeletons in his closet from the okay. past that's <laughs> kind of de trying to derail him from doing the right thing. I so, see. Yeah, it's a battle between, you know, where you've where you been and where you're trying to go. You know exactly, what I'm man. It's all about growth, man. Yeah. So even with that, like with the food section, right? Yeah. It's about growth. So right here, this is how we started out eating watermelon. Okay. What's up? That's how we originally thought watermelon was, but nobody ever knew watermelon came in different flavors. See, I thought that was pineapple. A lot of people would think it's pineapple yeah. if you ain't had a bottom part of that. Well, but that's like you, like you started off rapping. This you as a rapper right here. Yeah. This is you as an actor. Well, Something well, different. I mean, it's all good. It's all the same flavors, got all the same proteins, everything. Yeah. But it's just the presentation is totally different. Well, well, well. So that's you right there. Taste it. Let yeah, me know well, what you well, think well. about that right there. Here, here you well, go. Well. That's the real, that's the... Yeah, that press it up. That fresh. Yeah, fresh. Oh, dumb. So that's what you eat right here. Man, See, I eat all always stuff, messing man. with you, but this, this type of stuff you like to eat right here. Man, I, so just, I need I... to come like lock in with you. Man. Get me right, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, you lock in with me, boy, you gonna be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. You gonna have me like the Project Sex Symbol? Oh, man. Dumb. They already like me, you know. Man, my little thick cousin. Yeah. She, she thick. She's in the movies as well. I ain't gonna say no names, but Yo. man, she's in love with you. Man. Yo. Love. No. Mm -hmm. Okay then. But you get me right, you're gonna be eating mother. Turn you into that yellow watermelon, uh, man. Another love. The presentation, man. No, so I'm what's the what's the love been like in the hood, like, since you did this movie? Man, it's been crazy, man, especially coming from the part of Miami I'm from, you know I'm from down bottom, so right. you know, we don't got we ain't got a lot like uh, people to look up to that's that's really busting these doors down and people that come from our side of, of the crib. So it's like just a whole nother level of motivation of the things that I've been doing lately, you know. Of course, I see man. And you signed the slip and slide, but you started your own label. So it, yeah. that's a form of like motivating and teaching people. Definitely. Being yeah. a mentor, what's that like? What's the name of the label? It's OTM Entertainment. And what I did, I LLC the actual acronym OTM. So it could really stand for whatever you wanted to stand for. Out the mud, off the muscle, on a mission. Oh, that's Miami. You can hit the mall and be like off the mannequin. Man, you get ready to go to work and be like on to the money. I'd be like in the space, so I'd be like over the moon. Over the moon, oh man. Oh, oh, you just snap with that one, man. Send me an invoice for that one right on. Oh, <laughs> oh, over the moon. That's the name of the project, though. Over the moon, man. You think I can sign your label, man? You know I got some music out. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. I, I hear that Richard and Kanye. Yeah, man. Oh, dope. That'd be dope. Oh, dope. We can sit down and, you know what I'm saying, and negotiate how my people call your people. Yeah, have you know my what people got <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dope. Yeah, sir. Man, you need to get on that remix, man. That shit would be fire. Yeah, well, I, you know, I don't eat watermelon. This shit good as hell. You don't eat watermelon? I must ain't never really had, like, no fresh watermelon or something. What this taste like? It just tastes fresh, like, you know? So that's the whole thing with this movie. Like, people see you in a whole different light. Like, people just think, yeah. you know, they, sometimes people put you in a box. Yeah. But for you to be versatile and also just show your talent, man, like, you a, you a true talent, man. You tell stories. That's one thing I like about you. Yeah. Just looking at your Instagram, the stories that you tell is like crazy. Yeah. Those are movies within those those stories that you yeah, got. Yeah. Off rip, man. I also just uh, put out an ebook as well. It's called uh, How to Do the Most with the Least. Five rules on how to do the most with the least. And I'm just like motivating people that come from where we come from, you know, because that's dope. A lot of people like they say it take money to make money. Nah. So with that, it's like you will have 
have that idea in your mind that if you don't have no money, then you shouldn't chase nothing big. You know what I'm saying? That's so crazy. that I'm just kind of like really going up against that theory and letting people know like, you gonna have to work harder than people who do got money. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's possible. The least. You gotta do the most with the least sometimes. That's one thing I said, like I had this thing where I say, challenge yourself for 30 days. You could be a millionaire if you double your profits every day for 30 days. And all you got to do is start with a penny. Damn. So that's one penny, two pennies, four, eight, 16, 32. But by day 30, you'll be well over a million now. Damn. But if you challenge yourself and really think of like schemes, not just schemes, it ain't got to be scams or anything like that, but just whatever it takes to double your profits every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be a millionaire, multi millionaire. Yeah, you lock in and make it happen. Yeah. So a lot of time, man, we we really don't have the resources and the finances to even find out what we passionate about. Well, if you got a phone, you got the internet. So that's all the resources you need. That's real. I ain't know that like how they say ignorance of the, of the law is no excuse. So mm -hmm. the same thing with that, man. You can't say I ain't know about this hustle. I ain't know about that. Man, you gotta you work that phone, man. That, that that's one of the rules right in the book too. Yeah. You know, use your resources. Not only your resources, but be resourceful. But you can have resources and don't take advantage of it. So be resourceful. That's one of the rules in the book as well. It's a short read. It's like 17 pages, but it's five rules that I go by to do the most with the least. Where you can find that book at? Oh, it's online though. Online. You follow me on uh, Instagram at MySmith305. Click the link in my bio. I'm gonna buy me a book right now. Please support it. Support it. Read it. Let me know what you think, man. I'm buying the book right now as yeah, we I speak, man. I appreciate it, man. That's love, love. Damn, man. I'm... But day one, you've been a rapper. Yeah. Rapper first. I know you got 16 bars in there for me. What you got? Yo, yo, yo. I'm gonna say. See, I jumped out to poor speed, trying to get it in, nigga. I done seen everything but the fucking win, man. See, I could have had a scholarship. I supposed to been a star and shit. But bad decisions had me homeless, living in my car and shit. This nigga had money, they ain't even offer me a quarter. Niggas knew I was hungry, ain't offer a glass of water. Niggas knew that I was homeless, ain't offer to take a shower, let me hit the couch and feel the central air for just an hour. What a loyalty at? Why they do me like that? Same niggas I would've gave the fucking shirt on my back. I swear, a breaking nigga hard when you know the ones you kept it real with. Won't stand by you when you be going through some real shit. Made me not trust a nigga damn so don't trust a bitch. I'm on the door. I'm on the door. Woo, cuz oh. Cuz oh. Much love, man. man. I appreciate you having me, man. You know, man, appreciate you, appreciate coming, you man. being a mentor. Appreciate you motivating me all day, man. Even before I, before we even must had a relationship, you was motivating me just watching the slip and slide movement. Thank man, you, you was rapping, hitting them stages. I seen you with Missy Elliott, oh, Trina, yes. Lost Tribe, Trick. On like y'all <laughs> just going crazy, like the awards. Back when, what, what's the? Uh, the thing y'all used to be all in, in Mexico and at the MTV Cancun thing, Cancun. And, Cancun. Yeah, yeah, and then from break. the day I met you, you always, every time I see you, you giving me game. You you know what I'm saying? You commanding me on stuff. And I appreciate you, man, most of Man, well, you inspire me because you keep moving and you keep making it happen, man. Yes, sir. And that's much love, man. Just let everybody know where to follow you at. Yo, follow me on everything. Mike Smith 305 and the Smith. It's S-M-I-F-F, -F, not the T-H. Right. Mike Smith, 305. Check out the movie Cuzzo on Tubi right now. That's what's up. Soon to be BET. Woo! Tubi right now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and um, August 4th, Mike Smith versus Lil Dread at the cave. We got a versus going on. You know, we finna get together, celebrate our catalog. And when the whole city coming on, it's gonna be a big movie. And, and you know I'm finna take my shirt off and represent. I'ma get I'm 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 I'ma get on my fruit game. I'ma get locked in with CO after the verses. But that night I gotta be the big belly rude boy. I'ma come out my shirt and I'ma hold it down for my fans. You know what I'm saying? Most dumb. Man, much love, man. Yes, sir. Another episode of Bitch I got my pots.
Ha ha. Ha ha.